Which evil commander should you focus on coming into Season 2? In this video, we will figure out the best commanders to focus on so you can have the fastest progression possible for the new season as an evil player. So first and foremost, if you have tier 3 commanders, they are always worth to invest in early on. For the purpose of this video, we will mostly be talking about tier 1 and some of the tier 2 commanders. There are 4 tier 1 commanders that you should be focusing on. First up, we have Khaldun, preferably at respect level 5. He has great skills that can enable you to take on high level tiles at the start of the season. Next up, we have Gorbag. You should have him at respect level 5 by season 2. If you are playing Angmar or Mordor, I highly suggest you focus on him very early on as he can help you take on high level tiles at very early parts of the game. And since Angmar and Mordor also starts with 4 units, if you are playing Isengard or Rune, still level him up but he's not able to take high level tiles early on. Overall, he's one of the tier 1 commanders that you should heavily focus on. Next up, we have Grima. Very interesting commander. He is decent at respect level 0. If you have him at respect level 3 or 5, he is also really good. It doesn't matter which faction you play, he will always be good wherever. Grima has a variety of skills that allows him to either defend his units or deal damage to the enemy. He also has madness debuffs that doesn't require a lot of skill points so that's a plus. Last but not least we have Agzok. For Agzok, you need him to be respect level 3. He is really good at taking high level tiles early on in the game due to his high damage skills. Once you are able to take on 200 power tiles and up with your other commanders, you can then focus on leveling up your other commanders. Overall, really strong commander but falls off quite a bit later on. There are two tier 2 commanders that you should invest in early on. First up, we have Lurts. Preferably, you want him to be respect level 3. Just like Agzok, he has high physical damage, but unlike Agzok, Lurts has higher speed which allows him to attack faster in battles. Next up we have Kamul. Kamul is purchasable for a very cheap price. Preferably you'd want him at respect level 3. He is a very solid commander that has both defensive and offensive skills, which makes him very relevant whichever pace of the game it is. For the commanders that I haven't listed, there are still uses for them. You can use them for padding, which is basically taking a 1 powered tile and making a path to a higher level powered tile. Later on, you can also use them for sieging, which allows your higher level commanders to focus more on PvP. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or things to add, let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more Lord of the Rings Rise to War content.